Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, which is a station where you watch and learn. Your tutor is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. Today we are on Form 2, Lesson 5, and the topic is Soil Fertility 2. It deals with inorganic fertilizer. And the subtopic is method used in a, uh, application of fertilizer and also computation of fertilizer analysis. On to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you, are, you will be able to explain the various methods used in fertilizer application, and number two, to compute uh, or to deal with computation of fertilizer analysis. Uh, there are various methods that we normally use uh, in uh, fertilizer application. The first one is called broadcasting method. And in broadcasting method, you normally uh, th uh, through the, 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 the fertilizer at scattered places, at various places, and later on, the fertilizer is uh, mixed with the soil. Uh, the second method is placement method. And during placement method, you just apply a liter amount of fertilizer uh, using a uh, spoonful of uh, fertilizer. Then you thoroughly mix it with the soil then uh, you can apply, uh, put the seed, and you cover the seed with the soil. Then the third one is uh, foliar spraying. And in foliar spraying, the fertilizer, which is soluble in water, is uh, dissolved in water. And then we normally use a pump to apply the fertilizer on the leaves. And that, hence the name, the foliar application or foliar spraying. Then the fourth one, we have side dressing. And in side dressing, uh, this is the method uh, which is normally applied only to crops after the crops establishes themselves in the field. That is after germination have taken place and uh, also growth has also been effected. Then the, uh, the other method is drip uh, method. And in drip method, uh, as you know, drip method is a method uh, of supplying moisture to the soil to, uh, to supply uh, or crops with the, the water. And the dripping water, or the water which is used during, uh, during a dripping method, is mixed with the fertilizer. And in the process of irrigation, the fertilizer is also applied to the crops. Then we have computation of fertilizer, of a straight fertilizer. Uh, there is a, an example here. A farmer was advised to apply 150 kg of CAN, cassia, ammon uh, cassia ammonium nitrate fertilizer per hectare. While progressing the maize crop, CAN contained 21% of nitrogen. Calculate the amount of nitrogen applied per hectare. And the amount is given by uh, the analysis which is given there, that is 21%, uh, then you multiply by the amount of the fertilizer required, and the, uh, the value becomes that 1.5 kg of nitrogen per hectare. Then we have computation of amount of uh, straight fertilizer. Another example, we have a fertilizer uh, uh, after soil test, uh, test, a farmer was advised to apply 60 kg of nitrogen, 30 kg of phosphorus 5 oxide, and 40 kg of potassium uh, oxide per hectare. Calculate the SA, that is sulfate of ammonia, and SS, SSP, that is single superphosphate fertilizer, and we have the potassium uh, chloride or muriate of potash required per hectare. If the available fertilizers are sulfate of ammonia with 20% of nitrogen, a uh, single superphosphate fertilizer with 20% of uh, phosphorus 5 oxide, and uh, potassium uh, chloride with 50% of potassium oxide. And the amount of uh, sulfate of ammonia is calculated by uh, taking the 60 kg of nitrogen, uh, then you, you multiply by 100 kg of SA, sulfate of ammonia, then you divide by 20 kg of, uh, uh, kg of nitrogen. Then the total amount becomes 300 uh, kg of sulfate of ammonia. Then if we come to uh, determine the amount of single superphosphate, you will take uh, 30 kg uh, of phosphorus, uh, 5 oxide, you multiply by 100 kg uh, single superphosphate fertilizer, then you divide by 20 kg 
of phosphorus uh, 5 oxide, and the answer becomes 150 uh, kg, uh, which is the amount of single uh, superphosphate fertilizer to be applied. Then we have the amount of uh, muriate of potash or uh, potassium chloride. Uh, you will take 40 kg uh, you, uh, of potassium uh, oxide. You multiply by 100 kg of muriate of potash. Then you, multiply, uh, you divide by 50 kg of potassium uh, oxide. Then the answer becomes 80 kg of uh, potassium chloride. In other words, you are required to apply 80 kg of muriate of potash. And that is the end of today's uh, lesson. And uh, I will give you the following uh, question uh, as an assignment. Uh, the first question is, uh, number one, differentiate between a stride and a compound fertilizer. And the second question is, uh, you state any four methods of fertilizer application. And for reference, uh, we ha you can refer from the Secondary Agriculture Student Book 2, uh, the publisher, we have the Kenya Literature Bureau. And for more information, if you would like to clarify some, anything from us, you can reach us through the following contacts. Uh, the first one through SMS, through the number which is displayed for you there. Then you can as well as use YouTube at Elim TV. Then Facebook uh, at Elimu TV. Then we have the Twitter at Elimu, uh, at Elimu underscore K, K E. Thank you for watching and also thank you for joining me in my lesson.